welcome to weekly chat number eight it's been a minute since i have recorded one but we are back once again welcome back everyone it took so long but we are here we are 10 days from sbs kbs award show and then nbc award show i have been talking about it for the last couple weeks because that is something i have always looked forward to i used to focus all my time on her relationship when i was in one but now that i have more time to reflect on my experiences and focus on myself i am finding joy in things that makes me happy once again and that is kareen award show sbs kbs mbc that is the first thing i want to start off by talking about then we will move on to the next thing i want to touch base on i'm pretty sure this is going to be a chatty episode because i feel like i have a lot of things i have not said to you all and i want to take this opportunity to talk about it let's talk about the sbs award show because there's so much to be said on that so the sbs award show it's happening on the 31st strong award and they have already announced these nominated couples really that is nominated for the award show we have the couple Rui Eun and Shin Ye Eun from the drama The Secret Romantic Guest House I have not seen it so we'll see if they will win or not win their competitor is Lee Song Kyung and Ho Suk from the drama Dr. Romantic Number no. 3. There are two seasons of that. If you wanted to check it out, the next one is Song Kang and Kim Yoo Jong and the contract marriage My Demon. And the host is going to be Shen Dong Yop and Kim Yoo Jong. They hosted last year as well as for NBC couple we don't know kbs because they are very secretive with that here are the nominees for the best couple for nbc we have Wu do Hwan, w j s and bona and the drama joseon attorney and the nam gun min and an Hunjin, who portrayed Tender Love and My Dearest, part one, part two, obviously. I feel like that drama will get nominated a lot for the awards, of course. And then we have Cha Eun Woo, Park Kyu Young, who play a couple that heals each other's wounded heart through love. And the drama A Good Day to Be a Dog. And then, of course, Lee Se Young and Bae and Hook and the drama the story of park's marriage contract and who will be hosting is park q young and kim song ju who hosted last year as for kbs we only have the host and not the best couple nomination yet we have to wait and see like i said kbs is pretty private with that of course where the host is going to be Ro Wan So and uh, Chang Sung Hyu will be hosting the award show. I am excited to see who is going to win the best actor, best actress, and the best couple awards who it goes to. That is something I have enjoyed every year since i have started watching that so it will be very interesting for me let's talk about job because jobs are so much fun i am not working at the job i have mentioned previously you know debt collecting for different states and it was not my faith because it was a three-month contract afterwards it could be converted depending on how you are doing and i am not there anymore and i personally think it's for the best because i was not liking it anyways all good things must come to an end and i just can't work in 
the environment where people are tattletale. I will put it as sad because you never know who may come across this video and how it could be taken the wrong way and I don't want it to be taken the wrong way but you know the reason why I start my podcast is because I want to be honest with each and everything that I am feeling and dealing in this situation legit sucks but it's for the best you know I have been interviewing and I'm sure I'll find something better i haven't mentioned it but i'm mentioning now i was very upset however it's for the best and i didn't like the job i didn't like the hours and it wasn't for me personally and with people who tattletale karma is a b-i-t-c-h and it will bite you in the ass before you know it you know i don't wish harm on people but people that deserve it will get it coming to them one way or another because you know what i'm sure people have wish karma on me and i have wish on them they will get it and it will come at them more when they are least expecting that for sure i have been interviewing elsewhere i feel like after the holidays i'll find more jobs for sure and that's how it always Goes. I have worked with agency to know that they are not hiring this year. They don't have enough budgeting for now. I guess I'll just have to wait and see what comes from that. The next thing I want to talk about is my foot is getting better. I had a broken foot in October, sprained ankle. The sprain is still fair but it's recovering i have been going to pt so it's been helping me i've been doing the exercises at home and it's getting better one way or another it was a very difficult time for me in october having to stay home but i have documented for my own memory i won't get that time back so i really appreciate the love and care from my family now on to dating it is non-existent because people don't respect someone enough to show interest and like i have said before dating in colorado is dead and i stand by it even though i have just came off a long-term relationship and giving it a try so far the experiences have not been ideal dating in the denver area is dead people are not as respectful as you expect them to be because you know people are immature creature and they're not going to give a shit about you i am watching a lot of korean drama to keep my mind occupied because i don't want to focus my energy on dumb situation and people that isn't worth my time i am getting older and getting to a point where i want to find something serious and i like when things come naturally not when i have to beg for attention i am enjoying my single girl era and i'm not going to let stupid situation and foolish people like pisses me off because you're not worth it you know i've enjoyed being single so far and i have processed and heal and reflect so i feel like i am doing okay you know plus the holiday season cupping season it's not a time for me to like hunt somebody and then cuddle with them or whatever you know i've talked about it before and i still agree with what i have said dating is dead now let's talk about hobbies that i have enjoyed lately running because i want to run uh half by october and then i want to travel more going to zach bryan like i have said going to more concert solo trips more solo trip focus on me exercising to get to a healthy weight focus on my needs what i want and not so much on other people and their needs because i noticed something in a relationship that i have been in i always put their needs before my needs but my needs my wants is hella important as well and compatibility is so damn 
important and I am going to be more picky with who I spend my time with. You know, I have things that I need check mark before we hang out. So that is all that I will say. Oh yes, I'm watching a lot of good shows at the moment. I am re-watching the episodes for Love Like a K-Drama is getting so good. Single Inferno season three is getting so good as well. So many good shows. And yeah, I have been going to the gym and focus more on me, what I like and dislike and you know, a lot of self growth, you know, I have noticed it and I want to be good for me before I be good for whoever if it comes. But this is my single girl era focusing on me family traveling learning new languages going back to school for something and getting my certificate so it's going to be great you're never too old to go back to school so if you want to definitely go and do so and live your life to the fullest for you and no one else follow me on my podcast if you want to happy holidays merry christmas i don't know when i'll post this probably at some point before or after who knows but happy new year i hope 2024 is a better year for both of us and that we continue to thrive and be that awesome person we are meant to be okay bye